is February the 9th, 2015, and on yesterday, a driver rammed his truck in the gate of the U.S. Coast Guard facility and assaulted a Coast Guardsman. A man claimed he had a bomb. He crashed his pickup truck through the gate of the U.S. Coast Guard facility in Grand Haven, and then he assaulted a Coast Guard member early Sunday morning. It was just after 6 a.m. and a 34-year-old Michigan man, he was driving a Dodge Ram truck and he drove it into the gate of the Coast Guard station, and it's, which is located at 601 South Harbor Drive, just east of the Lakeshore. Uh, Grand Haven Public Safety Director Jeff Hawk said he then broke into the station and assaulted a Coast Guardsman who suffered minor injuries. Wow, <laughs> people are just going crazy these days. Now, members of the Coast Guard were able to contain the man until Grand Haven police safety officers arrived and arrested him. Okay, a neighbor named Bob Coleman, um, he's lived at the condominiums across the street from the Coast Guard station for eight years. He was able to see the whole thing from his window. And this is what he said. Um, they had him on the ground. Uh, they had handcuffs on him. And then I saw one of the policemen with what I refer to as a SWAT gun. Um, I was sitting there and I went, uh-oh, oh, something isn't right there. Wow, he saw the whole thing go down. It was a, uh, one of the neighbors across the street in the condominium. So this guy, he said he had a bomb and he just, I guess he wanted to blow up the Coast Guard um, station. Now, because of that bomb threat, the Coast Guard station was evacuated and residents of the nearby Sandpiper Condos, where this um, eyewitness lives, were ordered uh, to, to a shelter. The evacuation and shelter in place orders were lifted after, after a Michigan State Police bomb squad determined there was no bomb. Wow, this is this is crazy. So that's the latest in the news, and that happened yesterday, just after 6 a.m. on Sunday morning. Okay, I'm posting this vid, and I hope you make some comments and subscribe.